Yes, I spent two years as deputy commissioner and another two years doing media work, so a total of four years at the agency. And did you feel like you, you knew uh, Mark Costello fairly well? Or you yeah, I got to know him initially was not a, a supporter. I was for a young man that was running for the office at the time, but I just grew more and more impressed with Costello. His campaign was uh, run well, and then after he got in, I mean, it was like, uh, uh, an extension of my own spirit in terms of uh, the things he tried to accomplish in office. I respected him immensely. So why don't you run down what, what were the things that you, if we look back, what would you say he accomplished while he was in office? Well, he came into office with uh, right to work policy already in place. And so he had an advantage over uh, his predecessor to back, Commissioner Renault, and he was su strongly supportive of the right to work policy. In addition, he pursued a policy of workers' rights within state government, freedom of association, uh, so that you couldn't compel paying of association bills or association uh, dues through uh, your state um, uh, employee paycheck. Now, unions didn't like that, but that's an extension of the logic of right to work. He was also very aggressive on the budget front. He, by right-sizing, he meant right-sizing. If uh, you're having a problem, meeting your budget goals every year, nip and tuck here and there to save money. A total reduction, if I remember right, of about a dozen full-time employees over the uh, course of his time in office. And I think that was entirely uh, merited because they could do the job with uh, fewer people, which brings me to his use of high-tech computers, uh, GPSs, uh, cell phones for the people in the field doing the very important work of inspections and working with business and with others, with workers in promoting safety. Uh, just all over workers' comp, um, I would have to uh, give Costello a lot of credit for the second round of workers' compensation reforms like in 2013 and then in defending them. He came up with a great line, workers' comp, not lawyers' comp, which the lawyers didn't like, but I think the voters did, and he was overwhelmingly reelected. Uh, so he was my kind of fiscal conservative. I respected him immensely. Um, so, have you, so is that kind of, are those, would you say those are the major uh, accomplishments? Yeah, I'd, sa I'd say also that in an era of, uh, there's a lot of people that evoke uh, Ronald Reagan's memory and uh, utterly do not have his style, they, uh, uh, which is a combination of substantive conservatism with the face and manner and style of a happy warrior. Uh, he was a good man, a happy man, who was willing to work with people who didn't agree with him, and in fact enjoyed the political joust. Uh, I was touched that one of the nicest uh, comments after his passing came from the House Minority Leader, Scott Inman, who did not agree with uh, Mark Costello on certain issues but considered him a friend and respected him for his integrity. This was a man without malice and who ran the agency in a way that was completely above board, paid a lot of his expenses out of his own pocket. He was you know, a successful businessman in the private sector and when he entered it into public service, never looked at it as a way of feathering his nest. As the labor commissioner, his job was essentially to look out for the Oklahoma wage earner. Right. You think he did that? Well. I think he did. And if you look at the data, you'll see plenty of instances where the agency was supportive of workers. Some where they're supportive of business. And again, very much in the tradition of two commissioners back, uh, Brenda Renault. The two, I think, between Brenda Renault and Mark Costello, that's the model for new governance of uh, the Department of Labor uh, in the current days and going forward. So you think he, obviously he's being remembered very well as a person, but you think as a, as a public servant, he uh, should also um, be remembered well? Well, absolutely. 2010, he talked about right-sizing and he meant it. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this in the, occasionally in my commentaries, uh, the era of conservative Republicans running and saying they're for making government smaller and then setting out to make it bigger is, I hope, beginning to be over. It was a problem in the second Bush era, uh, and I think it's been a flaw in some of the governance in the Fallon years. This guy did not grow government. He made it smaller, and he did the job even better than the agency was doing when he came in.